Welcome back to a very nutty Top 10 Tuesday here in, uh, on BBM Productions. Um, today, we are going to be talking about the Top 10 live bands that we've seen, or at least are aware of. Um, of course, I'm here with Brian and Bill, and go! Top Green Day 10. was fairly good. Who was that? Green Day was a, put on a damn good show when I saw MHFS many years ago. They might have lacked some appeal since then, but that's my first pick. That was that pre or post uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams? Pre. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, I feel like that was kind of a defining album for them. It polarized a lot of people. I was not a Green Day fan after that album. To be completely honest. So you were a Green Day fan, but then after No Mas. Yeah. <laughs> Harsh. I understand. Harsh words. <laughs> American Idiot was a very divisive album. That's what it was. American Idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat a dick, Green Day. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Bill, what you got? <laughs> Show what me what you got. You got. Yeah, um, it took me forever to see them, but I saw them here just last year. Bare Naked Ladies did an awesome show. Um, uh, yeah. I Actually, they that. were the opening band, but I, I, uh, I enjoyed their their set. Um, actually, more so. Hootie and the Blowfish they were opening for, and it was a good show all the way around. I mean, Hootie and the Blowfish did a pretty good show. You know, Darius Rucker. But Bare Naked Ladies was more fun, I, th I, you know, just in general as a show. And they were good, you know, didn't really lose a beat. Yeah, I could see them having a really lively performance. Yeah. Did they do any of Darius Rutgers, like, solo stuff? Uh, One or two, I think, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I feel like I've heard some of it, and I thought it was all right. Even though I'm not a big country guy. Mm-hmm. Um... Kind of similar to you, Bill. It took me forever to see him, but I finally saw them or him last year. Pretty sure it was last year. Beck. I thought that was a pretty oh, good show. Nice. Uh, a little, just a little lackluster, so I wouldn't call it like my number one. Um, it felt kind of rushed at certain points, but I thought the light show was good. And, uh, and the crowd was really fun. So hmm. Can't be any worse than uh, freaking the band who did Sober. Sober. I think oh. I know it. Yeah, let's move on. Bad band. This is a good band list. I'm sure bad bands will pop up. Uh, I will have to say Foster the People. I was surprised they were able to do a live show well. I don't know how that worked out, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. They even had Katy Perry there at the same concert, but that's oh. Katy Perry. Like as a opening act? Um, yeah, pretty much. That's a weird combination. It is. They had another band also, but the other band was not memorable at all, I guess. So, Foster the People. Hmm. Good one. Uh, Bill, I, gotta, I don't want to step on your toes, Bill, but I do got a couple more. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I liked, uh, I saw Linkin Park live. That was a pretty good show. Um, I think that was at an OzFest and, uh, Kaiser Chiefs, I think played before them and they just blew Kaiser Chiefs right out of the fucking water, but they were the headliner. So that kind of makes sense. We saw I, the who. Uh, Virgin Fest yeah. was pretty good. So was the Chili Peppers. I was... They were both really good at, at Virgin Fest. Yeah, I was surprised how much I liked The Who, to be honest. I thought we were kind of talking yeah. about this leading up. You know, some of these older acts need to just give it a rest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I kind of but... thought they were going to suck, but they're actually really good. Yeah. I'm going to put The Who and Chili Peppers on there. Uh, Same I don't thing remember... with, uh, actually, Sticks and Skinner. I saw them um, down in Florida. You know, and they were they were surprisingly good, especially Sticks. Man, did a great show for how old they were. I've heard nothing but good things about Sticks' live show. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Interesting. 
What about Marilyn Manson? Supposedly his oh, live shows are Manson? truly a show. No, uh, I, I've i seen videos of it. So I, I can't totally tell you Manson live show. as in live. What made me think of that is Kiss supposedly does a good job, but uh, I don't want to see that tongue come out of that face. Oh my god, Marilyn Manson has a 2020 tour? <laughs> no is dates announced yet. I'm gonna go see that him. would actually... We should go to that show if they come around here. That'd be a lot of fun. If we're, if we're not all dead. <laughs> if we're not all dead, we should go to that show. <laughs> Or zombies, yeah. or if we are zombies. zombies, maybe that'd make yeah make it more interesting to go as zombies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I zombies like would listen to Marilyn Manson. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, uh... but zombies at a Rob Zombie show would probably actually be just the height of irony. So no for that. You know, it's that's a little too actually... spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that that's brings up a good I'm question. Thinking. But Marilyn Manson, it works. Have you guys maybe heard Rob of... Thomas? You know, uh, I zombie style. Huh. <laughs> What's with people talking shit about people that wear like the the t shirt of the band to the concert? I don't get why that's so frowned upon in society. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do know what you're talking about. I, I've been a little confused, especially if. You know, you had seen them once before, and you had the band shirt from that show, and you're like, oh, man, going to see them again, you know? I don't see why that's a big problem. Yeah, me neither. Like you said, especially if you have, like, the, you know, 2018 tour t-shirt, you know, you can kind of rep that you've you've yeah, been supporting yeah. the band. Yeah, yeah. Um, Atreyu was not bad live. Um, I saw them. I don't know who they are. At Jiffy Loop Live. They were pretty good. I did see Ozzy once. That was fucking awesome. That was surprisingly good, actually. Um, I saw more people flashing Ozzy than I... The ladies love him. It was incredible. <laughs> saw all nice. the boobs. Did you do it your... Did you also join in on the festivities there? The oh, yeah. Flash? My shirt was... My shirt was off at that point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As you do. Mike's pinching his nipples in the crowd. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was there with... Uh, that was my first OzFest. I was there with a couple of ladies, you know. Uh, so that was a good time. Nice. A lot of fun. Uh, Aerosmith was actually pretty good. I could see I that. I in, like, the mid-2000s. Like, you know, something like that. I wonder if they're they were, still... They were surprisingly... Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Uh, the White Stripes, I thought that was a great. I think yeah. Bill, you and I went to that one. Yeah, that was yeah, that was that was a good show. We would come, went kind of last minute too, didn't we? We like yeah, we did. I forget yeah, it was like all of a sudden you we were like, hey, we got tickets at the last minute, and I remember us showing up like right as they were starting. But it was a really good show. Yeah, I'm always amazed at how like musically talented he is. How many instruments he played on stage that that night? Yeah, yeah, that, I think that's what kind of made it for me. You know. Be jamming yeah. out on the guitar and then sling the guitar around. And he's banging it out on the piano all while singing. It was very impressive. Yeah, yeah, like throughout the song. So it wasn't like he just sat down to one thing for each song either. And you're right. He would just walk around playing different instruments for the same song. I'm like, God damn, man. Because you would think like live that he would, you know, have some band members or something that fill in to help do live shows or something. Because a lot of those guys that will play <laughs> multiple instruments on their tracks for an album will have like live performers, but he just like walked around doing everything himself. I was like, God dang. Speaking of uh, the black keys, I saw them live and they, they, that's what they did. They had like a couple of people. Cause I think it's really just two guys. Right. Uh, but they had a couple know. of people come in to, to play the bass or whatever. Yeah. So that yeah. was pretty good. Stop in the bass. Sure. What about well, other me... bands? Go ahead. Let me throw in my last one, which is the same probably with Bill. Third Eye Blind was quite a spectacular live performance when really they were was. still relevant or semi-relevant. It was my first concert. I think it was the first one I ever uh, went to. Well, there's never... 
It's never one like your first. Because <laughs> it was what, them and Vertical Horizon, right? Yeah, and one of those uh, number bands from back in the day. Some, not, was it some 41 or another number band? I forget. No, it was somebody, I forget who the other one was. Like it wasn't Blink-182, that's for sure. If we had a top 10 worst bands, Mike would put them at the top of the list. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. Um, that show was awful. I went into it, I think that was my first concert. I was in the 7th or 8th grade or something, and my cousin took me. Uh, and I think Bad Religion opened, so he wanted to see Bad Religion. And then once they were done, he literally took a nap on the on the lawn, which I thought was funny. Um, And yeah, I was... By the time I got home that night, I was no longer a Blink-182 fan. It was that bad. Pop, Papa Roach was also another stinker at a HF Festival. I want to say Jack Black's band, but... Were they there? I want to see Tenacious D. At a HF Fest. Tenacious D, they were at one of the HF Fest. I don't remember that. For real? Oh, it must it could have been one of the I ones I... Yeah... I there can't really rep too, my where... favorite band. What's that? Say what? Oh, I can't rep Modest Mouse. They had a decent performance, oh. but... <laughs> yeah. Live-wise, no. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't spectacular. Then there's there's Mike's favorite. Good old Jimmy Buffett. Oh, yes. His old Margaritaville. <laughs> you get out your lighter. Peter Kladeberg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does put on a good live show. Love him does or he? hate him. Does he? Yeah, he does. I believe that. He does. Believe yeah, he actually does. <laughs> He's not. See, that's the thing is some some people I think wouldn't want to sit and listen to them. You know, on a CD, you just like from a studio, but live he's actually good. I feel like there's a couple of performers like that that are better in concert because Garth Brooks was one. I know you're not a big country guy, but like when you listen to his, his CDs that are like cut in, in a studio, it, it doesn't sound right. His live albums are like, I've never been able to see him in person, but on TV or listening to his live albums are, they're, they're really good. I can see that, I guess. Um, I'll throw in kind of an obscure one. I was supposed to see them live in New York a couple of years ago, but it fell through. Uh, but they played at Madison Square Garden last year, and they put out a, a video for that. Uh, Wolfpack. Indie Darling. Wolfpack. Uh, really good band. Really amazing bassist. Uh, and they have... The core group is just like all instrumental, but they have a couple of people come in to do uh, vocals on some of the songs, you know? So it's kind of fun to see them... Kind of similar to Jack White, they would all, except for the bassist, kind of cycle who's playing what. You know, one guy jumps on the drums, another guy jumps on the organ, and then they'd have these other people come in and out to to sing. One of the guy's moms even did like a group meditation with the the crowd. That was kind of fun. Um, just seemed like a fun show. I hope I get to see them one of these days. Uh, maybe it'll be a, an honorable mention since they are pretty small, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Big fan, shout out, shout out, Wolfpack. <laughs> what about you brian you got any more nope i shot my load gentlemen oh, sorry yeah. about that my memory is the worst out of all of Hence us the so. t-shirt uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i also think i have the coronavirus and it's just affecting my brain that's my excuse at least <laughs> anyone that you really want to see but haven't yet Ask again later. I'm like a magic eight ball. <laughs> I'd like to see the gorillas, just because I want to know what that show's like, you know, since it's a cartoon band. Well, I'm sure uh, Japan has those virtual idols. I'm sure the gorillas can pull off something like that. In fact, I think someone, they might have actually did that for one of their shows recently. But I could be getting that mixed up with something else. Virtual idols. I think the next time they're here, I might try to stand. I'm not a big concert guy anyway. 
Um, I felt like there was a period where I was, like a five year period, but yeah, I definitely went to like several HF festivals all in a row. Then sort of just dropped off the face of the planet. I feel like festivals to me are like the all day ones are a lot more fun than just a regular concert. Like you can move, you know, close to the stage. You can, you know, there's a lot of like food vendors. It's, it's kind of more of an event. You know, you go there all day or even all weekend, kind of party out, listen to a bunch of music. Um, it's kind of a good mix of stuff. But when you go to a concert, I don't know, it's it's just different. Like if you're going to see one band or, or maybe two, you know, like at Merriweather or something. I mean, it's hard. Sure. It's, you know, still fun, but I don't think it's as fun as, as like HFS and, and Chili Cook-Off and stuff like that. I'd agree with that. Although I was pr- pretty pissed at, at uh, Virgin Fest when we paid all that money. <laughs> and then it was like you had to pay an extra like $300 to get in that VIP section. And we were like, oh, fuck it, because it was all this stupid crap like – what was it, like a gift bag and champagne Something or some like that. crap? And we were like, oh, man, fuck it. We don't need any of that. And then we get there, and they've got the the, the stage like 100 yards back from this fucking fence. And you, we didn't know that we had to pay because the drawing mm-hmm. only had like a small box on it, remember? Like in front of the yeah. stage. So we were like, oh, we can go up to the, like the other sides of the stage. But it was the whole goddamn stage was was fenced off for like a ridiculous like uh, size or whatever. Because I remember like everybody in the VIP section didn't even take up like a quarter of the of the fenced in part. It really pissed me off. Yeah, that was annoying. And yeah. then all the other ones were free after that, which yeah. I feel like they could only do because of the exorbitant prices charged on the first one. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Let's see what else. Bon Jovi was really good. Let's see Bon Jovi. I can see that. Uh, the only other one I would want to put on the list is Live. I was actually... I thought Live was going to be shitty. Because um, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of theirs. But I saw them at a chili cook-off with Aaron for his 21st birthday. And uh, incredible show. Alex was actually at that show as well. I didn't know. But we talked about it years later. And... Uh, we both commented about how live brought the fucking house down. Nice. Mm-hmm. Almost feel like Third Eye Blind should be on there twice because when they did that, uh, the we had see, we saw them when we were younger. And we saw them again when they were at Chili Cookoff. I remember uh, like three quarters of the way through one of their songs, they just stopped and played that Nelly song, and the whole crowd went like crazy. They were like, hey, it must be the money. I was like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> nice. I love that song. Yeah. Uh, I saw Ice Cube once, kind of by mistake. Uh, hmm. I was going to see this other band that I knew a guy in, and... Uh, I guess if you got tickets to that show, the the venue next door was owned by the same people, so you could go next door to Ice Cube show. And uh, I was there with my buddy DeGrayson, and uh, we had a contest to see who could get like a business card into his hand first, you know. Mm. And uh, I like uh, I don't know I I can't remember how I did it, but it happened. And uh, it's just kind of a random experience. I didn't know we didn't know he was there, you know. We just kind of went on a Tuesday night to this other show and ended up seeing Ice Cube. Oh, I'm not going to put them on the list. It was just a fun experience. Sweet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm not a big fan of? Is the DJ concerts. Like, I saw... Yeah. Dead Mouse at Merriweather for something. And uh, it was... It's just bad. I didn't... I don't get the appeal of... I mean, I guess he had his whole helmet thing on. But it's like, alright, this guy's just playing records for... An hour and a half? That's not really yeah. interesting. No well, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna... That was probably just a bad performance. I saw Dead Mouse, and he was pretty lame. But there were some other DJs at at least one overnight... Um, not concert, sort of a rave sort of thing. But of course, you have to be on drugs to enjoy that sort of stuff. And I'm pretty sure I was. And some of the best bands, they'll have a live like a guest vocalist, but some of those people can do some amazing stuff. So I'll, I'll bat defense for that. Uh, SDM, techno, electronica, raver type yeah. music. There is a big difference between good 
DJs and bad DJs, but none of them should really go in the list. I'm sure there's some out there who can, but I can't actually represent any of them. Sorry, ravers and those sort of people. Can't rep for you guys. I mean, I get it in a club atmosphere, you know, have a DJ doing the thing. Because then the, the music is kind of second to the interactions. But if it's just a concert... Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that at all. Yeah, Maybe I'm just old, which I am. But I don't get it. Kids kids these days. <laughs> yep, crazy kids with all their I mean, I... pop rocks and soda pop. And fancy cereals. <laughs> like oatmeal. <laughs> With all its crazy new flavors like apple cinnamon. Apple and cinnamon, that's insane. Ah, Dave. It's regular oatmeal, and we loved it. We liked it. We loved it. Uh, I mean, if someone wants to come give me $50 and watch me just play record after record, I can do that. I got no, got no problem doing that. Right. Uh, all right, so we got Green Day, Bare Naked Ladies, Beck, Foster the People, Lincoln Park, The Who, Chili Peppers, Sticks, Skinner, Marilyn Manson I threw on there, Atreyu, Ozzy, Aerosmith, The White Stripes, The Black Keys, Third Eye Blind, Wolfpack, Bon Jovi, and Live. Um, any other bands that like we've heard about? I kind of want to see String Cheese Incident. They're like a jam band. <laughs> Don't we have enough for this list already? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think so. I'm starting narrowing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so sounds like Third Eye Blind should be fairly high on the list. I don't know how high. Bill wanted to I mean, give I him mean, two spots, so just for that that one chili cook off, just because it was a hilarious moment and the whole crowd reacted. Even people walking by, because you know how the festivals have different stages. I remember like the whole place like silenced and then turned and and responded to him with "Must be the money," and then everybody started laughing. I thought it was okay. really one of the best concert moments. Let's start from there. Is there any bands who did a better live performance? I mean, I wasn't there, but I'm I'm fine with putting them at number one if that's what you guys fall on. I remember, it was one of you guys that I was at that chili cook-off with. I don't remember which one of you, to be honest, because we went to so many festivals. I think it's Mike, because I yeah, think I, I think missed, it was you, Mike. I miss chili cook-off most of the time. Honestly, that I was the one that. that RFK, yeah. I think it was me. Um, because that, um, that sounds like it would have been before you and I started hanging out. Hmm. No, no, this would have been after. Far after, actually. So I know the HFSs were mostly Brian and I went to those, and then you and I went to Virgin Fest for sure. But yeah. I don't. I never went to any uh, chili cook-offs with you know anybody else. I was faithful to you okay. guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, concert bros. <laughs> All right, sure. Third Eye Blind, number one. Totally cool with that. Uh in my opinion, I would put live at number two just because it was really good. And I wasn't a big fan until I saw them live. I feel like that gets some consideration. Uh, but this is oh. tricky be- since we have different you know, experiences. Uh, I, yeah. I, I think just because of their name, it's redundant. I think they should be for third spot. Just because just they're live. 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 Uh, yeah. Kind right. of expect it to be good. You know, No, I'm just kidding. I. It's in the name. Right? Yeah, that would be really, yeah. really disappointing if, <laughs> if a, they were if then band shitty live. live. Just did shitty live. Yeah. Okay, maybe number two. I I can't really go with uh, the few picks I went with, like Green Day. I mean, it was a good performance, but epic. Mm, I'm sure there's better. Bare Naked Ladies was was really fun. I, I was surprised. I was a little upset too because sitting there in the you know on the lawn in Merryweather, like everybody was like, 
I wouldn't say booing them, but they were like, you know, bring out Hootie and the Blowfish kind of thing. And, um, and by the time it got to Hootie and the Blowfish, like Darius Rocker was obviously like half trash and it wasn't nearly as good as Bare Naked Ladies. I'm like, you all assholes, right? <laughs> it's a really good concert. <laughs> yeah, I That's probably actually up. saw that, uh, but it wasn't memorable enough. But I like Bare Naked Ladies overall. Yeah, yeah. I put them at number three. I'd like to see them live because I could see that being a really fun show. I was trying to see them again, actually. Um, we were going to buy tickets. They were coming to Baltimore Inner Harbor. They're actually going to yeah. get tickets and surprise you guys with it because they were such a good show. But, of course, fucking COVID canceled all that. Fuck you, disease or whatever the fuck, virus. Fuck you, COVID. Uh, I don't know why, but I, even though we, none of us have seen him, I kind of want to put Marilyn Manson at number four. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? I really want to see him now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I bet you I'm really curious show. how he does. Oh my God. Speaking of, uh, I, I'm not going to put it on the list, but just a quick, I guess, shout out to, uh, Rammstein. Because I hear their shows are fucking insane. Like, I think I saw a video of they had this, they wheeled out this big dick, uh, like, sculpture or whatever. And, like, the lead singer would, like, start jacking it and, like, oh, riding it and stuff. And then oh. it, like, spewed, spewed cum. Or it was probably lotion or something. Oh, so it's spewing God. stuff I'm gonna all over the crowd. I'm going to have to make sure this podcast is 18 and over. <laughs> Rated not N.A. Not safe for work. <laughs> No, they're just words. words. Just words. Words. I mean, I just heard that the shows are insane. I, I'm not a huge fan of the band, but I really want to go see them just once for the experience. So I'm not putting you on the go list. get jizzed on. Is that what you're saying? You want some yes, somebody I, to jack off on you? Yeah, just once. I want. Uh, I want some. You know, German uh, hard uh, <laughs> industrial band to come all over me. After I paid seventy five dollars for their show, yes, I think that's fine. This is America, what if, Bill. Yeah. What if there was a feminist version of that? They would have a giant uh, vagina come out, and <laughs> I can just imagine that. Ugh. Yeah, but instead of like, Ramstein, is... it would be. Um, I have no fucking joke for this, but <laughs> if I'm a non Nazi, just pulling a random name out of my ass. Yeah, I guess instead of Ramstein, it would have to be like Accept Stein, <laughs> or for the feminist version. Yeah, Accept uh, Dude Ram and the. I don't know. All right. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, Lincoln Park was pretty good. Uh, Chili Peppers were pretty good. Skinner, I could see being pretty good. I've heard a lot of good things about Sticks. I wouldn't mind putting Sticks, them man. at number yeah, five. Yeah. yeah. Even though, again, I haven't seen them, but I've heard. Like, I had a coworker that would, um, them in Kansas, he would go to, like, every show that mm, okay. that he could. I mean, I'm not a big Kansas fan, though. Or Arkansas, for that matter. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Um, the White Stripes at number six. All right, that was a pretty good show. Another aside, just because I'm trying to make this podcast even longer, I'd like to see Mary Prankster at some point. Uh, I was supposed to go last winter, but then I didn't. So here we are. Didn't we though in Baltimore once? Not me. Maybe you weren't there. No, I tried. This one we did. But maybe not. I think we made the attempt and it failed, like so many things we do. Oh, yeah. You might be right. Because I remember us going to a club in Baltimore, and then they didn't show up. What? Yeah, sounds that, about I right. I think that was the deal. I think that was the deal. I was That's whack, I man. Vag- vaguely remember going to try to see see them at, uh, in Baltimore. Yeah, Have we a big tried. Whack we failed. Story of my life. All right, so we got four spots left. Um, Brian, I know you really liked Green Day. You want to throw a Green Day on here? Sure. 
It was a good performance, not top five level, but Green Day, pre-American Idiot. I don't know. I, I think they're all hoity-toity now with all their rock opera crap. Yeah, American hey, Idiot was turning into a... on the rock opera now. Oh, I don't. I am a big okay. fan of the uh, bro shows here in Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore shows. Rock Opera Society. They usually mm. end up be no matter if the play is a little hokey, which they generally are. The atmosphere is good, and they're good, weird fun. But I have to go check that out. That sounds kind of interesting. Well, if we can ever go to anywhere you know. ever again. Yes. Yeah. Uh. All right, so we got Green Day. Um, Bill, any anything else from your side? Aerosmith, Skinner, uh, Bon Jovi, any other big standouts? Uh, bon Jovi was was actually surprisingly good. Yeah, I probably uh, Aerosmith was good too, especially for their age at at the time. But I don't. Either one of those I'd be fine with putting putting up there on the list. Maybe like Bon Jovi, Chili Peppers, Beck? Or Bon Jovi, Chili Peppers, The Who? Yeah, um, yeah. I didn't like Atreyu enough. Who was surprisingly good. Yeah, I'd almost want to put The Who on before Bon Jovi. Um, even though I didn't see Bon Jovi. You saw both shows, yeah. Bill, so what, 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 would you, what would you say? Oof. Jovi was really good, kind of as advertised, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, okay. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. And then maybe the Who. Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi. Um, I feel like Linkin Park was better than Beck, since we only have the one spot left. Uh, I don't know how good was the Fox of the People show, Brian. Oh yeah, um, it's hard to compare it to a band, so Linkin Park versus Foster the People. Let's just put Foster the People in honorable mentions and give Linkin Park the 10 spot. So I'm going to put uh, Aerosmith in honorable mention as well. Yeah. And Foster the People. We're not worthy. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and uh chili peppers i feel like we got to put in honorable mentions at least yeah yeah they put on a really good show at virgin fest chili peppers yeah that was pretty solid all right so that pretty much does it uh so any other comments uh so in honor of all these Festivals being canceled. We're going through all the or the top ten live bands that we have seen. Um, just to tease all of you folks out there who will never be able to go to a concert ever again because this is our life now. Uh, <laughs> this is me so now. The, def the definitive BBM Productions top ten list for live bands is coming in at number ten, Lincoln Park. Number nine, The Who. Number eight, Bon Jovi. Number seven, Green Day. Number six, The White Stripes. Uh, Meg White was hot. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, number five, Styx. Number four, Marilyn Manson. Number three, Bare Naked Ladies. Number two, Live. Your honorable mentions, Aerosmith, Foster the People, and the Chili Peppers. And the number one best live show band is Third Eye Blind. Yay. Give it up to Third Eye Blind. Hey. <laughs> yes, lamenting the things that we're too old and probably don't have the ability in the next year or so to do. Indeed. Uh, be sure to tune in on Friday when we're going to go into more of the stories about our escapades and going to live shows. Uh, don't forget to tell us, uh, who your favorite band was in the comments and how dumb we are for all our selections. And, uh, we will see you next time. Bye.